What is it, Axe? I was rummaging through some old boxes and I found this newspaper thing from like 2009, which is a crazy long time ago. Do you remember for this number playground chronicle? Who is that on the cover? Is that five? Yeah, yeah, that's five. Oh, we gotta read this. We have to see what's in there. And you know, maybe it'll take us a memory lane about what our lives were like back then. Yes, let's ride down that lane. Yeah, like, here we go. Let's speed down the lane at 100 miles per hour. Ah! Oh. This story is about, oh, an integer dropping a ball. I hope it wasn't you for because I hate people who drop their balls. Yeah, when that happens, it could be very bad. Yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just, like, read through this to make sure that it wasn't you. So, this was written by two integer, which is interesting. I wonder what two is up to. They wrote five integer, a former not dropper, dropped a playground ball on the morning. And then we have to flip to page A4 to read the rest. I can't wait to see the rest. Of last Tuesday, while playing a rather simple game of catch. Oh, and look, they teach us how to pronounce catch. Catch. Integer did not pick up the ball when dropped, and three integer, the person playing with him, became impatient. Integer was angry at integer. Oh, no. Because integer, new integer, could simply pick up the ball and throw it to integer, and integer and integer could keep playing. But this is confusing for. Wow, integer really dropped the ball there. I'm getting lost. Four, four, you getting lost? I'm getting a little bit lost. I'm feeling like three in that picture right there. I'm foaming. Oh, oh wow, I didn't even see that picture. Oh, three is foaming. Foam, foam. He, he looks absolutely furious. A look at this other article. I see an advertisement. Uh, that's kind of my thing. Uh, this movie, Down. Wait, what? The movie's called Down? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of some movie that was playing uh, like a while ago. But it's like, instead of up, it's down. Wait, wait, what is the plot of this movie, though? I don't want to watch a movie just about going downhill, you know? I actually don't know what this movie's about either. I, I think I see a house and there's like... Yeah, I I'm seeing this bag of lead below the house. And I know from my chemistry experiments that lead has a density of 13 tons per cubic inch. So it makes sense that it's full of really fast. That's kind of a lot of what, like, I don't want to breathe in the fumes, so maybe it's good it's like going into the ocean. But, but yellow face, don't you already have a lot of lead poisoning? I tested your house lately, and, and the levels there, they're just off the charts. Oh, that, that would explain why I've been feeling kind of weird. Well, if you liked Down, then you'll love Down the sequel. I, I saw on page A9. We should go see that one. Dong! Oh, well, the house is still there. It's like floating. No, it's under the wa- Oh, actually, I, I can't tell. I guess that's why we should go see it. But the most impressive thing is that the movie comes out one day after its prequel. I think that's like a world record. Hey, that must mean it's really good. Like, there's like so much content. Say, Yellowface, don't you like own a movie production company? Like, I, I think we should protest and not watch it because they're competing with your company and they're putting it out of business. Well, the they're also taking lead out of the environment, so I think they're doing a good thing. Uh, I think I want to support them now. They're sequestering it at the bottom of the ocean. Oh my gosh, it's a picture of me! X, yeah, it's a picture of you. You, I, you I got, got your a own full page. page. Frontal face photo. That's how you know you've made it into the big leagues. I don't think I want to see your face that up close. It's kind of gross. Wait, it looks like I have some sort of like upper lip shadow facial hair thing. What is even going on? Yeah, I think you gotta shave your mustache. I had no idea it was that visible. Oh well. Anyway, I do remember Octahedron coming up to me that blessed day and asking me for an interview. So let's, let's see what he wrote. On a nice Tuesday late morning stroll for integer, that's you, came across X variable. That's me sitting by a tree variable had been depressed this sounds so official with my last name integer started the interview and this is you i think x what's wrong you look depressed says integer that's me oh i don't know says variable i just don't know what i am what my says variable value is this is known as a lack of knowledge of value type of stress and integer knew just how to fix it you see says integer you are so smart D did you just interrupt me 
I was reading right there. Yeah, it's just like you're a doctor. You, you know about the lack of knowledge of valueitis. I really appreciate that level of knowledge. I mean, I, I, I personally don't deal with lack of knowledge of value type stress. Like, I kind of already know my value, so, you know. Oh, well, I guess that's true. Wait, finish reading the article. Well, well, you see, says Integer, it's not as extremely complicated as you might think. All it takes is to fix not knowing your value is to learn your value. Yes, that's really all it is, folks. That's really all it is. Wow, well, it was so simple. This person's quite sure of themselves. Wow, this is the words of someone who clearly has not dealt with this issue in their life. Like, they think it's so simple, huh? Wait, that's talking about me, isn't it? Oh. Wow, oh, wait, this is not a good look for me. Yeah, wait, if the magical sauce that you're peddling is this brain dead, obvious statement, then maybe you have nothing to offer at all. Maybe you're not the teacher I thought you were. Yeah, I, I, th I think you might be onto something there, Axe. Well, anyway, we did find my value, but only for that day, because my value changes every day. Oh, look, on the next page, they got our phone numbers. Wow, that's a lot of numbers. I remember the days of phone books. My phone number is two! Really? I I'm, I'm having trouble finding it. There there's so many phone numbers here. Oh, it's okay. You just gotta, like, squint really hard. Man, I, I wish I could just call some of them. But I don't know who to call. There's no one worth calling but me for! Oh, my gosh. Don't talk to Square Polygon. Don't talk to One Third Fraction. Talk to X. If you say so, X. Oh, um, anyway, let's, let's move on. I don't think there's anything left in Section A. So in the year 2009, we all know there was a global recession sweeping over the globe. I remember the subprime mortgage crisis. It was unpleasant. Oh, I don't remember that because I didn't have a house back then. Still don't, but, you know. Oh my god, there's X doing a weird pose. Uh, why, is the, why, why is the voice bubble sticking into his mouth? That's going to make him gag. Boost this! Oh my god, X, is that you right now? That must be so painful. I feel bad. 